The following tutorial is a simple example about how to make three different text bugs from a basic title. Add a basic title to the storyline. Shorten the clip by double clicking on the playhead clock and typing 4, period. Return to set the length to 4 seconds. Drag the title to the lower left corner of the viewer. Add a highlighter, Animate Position X effect, then, add a second Animate Position X. In the Effect Inspector, set the End Time percent of the first Animate Position X to about 10%, set the Start Time percent of the second Animate Position X to about 90%. Move the playhead to the beginning of the title. Set the start value to a negative value enough to move the title off screen to the left. To avoid the built in text bounce, set the wrap duration to 100%, and then do the same for the second animate position X wrap duration. Set the end value of the second animate position X to a similar but slightly greater distance as the start value of the first. Move the playhead to the end of the title to check that the text animates off screen. Make start and end value adjustments as necessary especially if you change the text to something longer. You may want to set the alignment to left align but you can just drag the text on the screen for the right. This is our first simple text bug. You may want to save effects preset if you like this version. Moving on to our second example, we don't even have to undo anything. Add a highlighter to effect, whenever a text object is involved, you will have to change the cursor tool to something other than select, try typing H for hand, or R for range, or any of the others except Z for zoom. H and R are easily reached with the left hand leaving your right hand free to make selections on control screen elements. Move the on-screen controls to surround the title text. Select a background color, add a little roundness. Playing the title. We see the background is static while the text animates. To add a background to the animation, simply click and drag on the Highlighter 2 title bar in the Effect Inspector, drag it upwards, and drop it above the Animate Position X effects, to the top of the effects list, and now the entire title bug graphic animates together. This is our second simple text bug. You may use Save Effects preset again to save this different variation of the bug. Let's do one more. Drag the highlighter to effect back down below the Animate Position X effects. Set the Blend Mode to Stencil Alpha, skim the title and notice that the text disappears into the screen before the left edge. Add an outline by increasing the outline opacity to 100%. And here we'll set the outline width to 1. That's a little better. To make a color background for this version, we'll add yet another highlighter to effect and arrange it to cover the bug area. Neatness will not count here. Click and drag the second highlighter 2 to above the previous one set to stencil alpha and see that the rectangle is cut to the shape of the stencil. Set a color. Skimming the title, the text moves into the bug region and out again. We can add a fade in, 
Fade out by typing Option V to reveal the video animation tool and adjust the opacities at the beginning and end. Highlighter is a lot of little pieces that can be put together in any number of ways to create custom effects right in Final Cut. Don't forget to save effects preset. When you reuse the effect with a basic title, all you will need to do is grab the title and the viewer and drag it into the text bug region. For a better experience, use highlighter text instead. Just delete the basic title text and you won't need to realign the text every time the preset is used. And that's our three simple text bugs for this introductory lesson for highlighter effects. Thank you for watching. Please visit fcpxtemplates.com and check out our over 180 products for Final Cut Pro.